<laughs> of course, just because an actor knows exactly what to say and when to say it doesn't always mean it's going to come out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> uh, pretty soon they were on the menu. But the... the <laughs> I think the first thing we'll do is I'm going to teach the boys and girls out there how to turn their eyelids out, oh, up, wow, outside on. Exciting. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yes. Well, I'll go and see if I can find a replacement for that burnt out equalizer. Honest. Ivan, do you mind? I didn't say pl pudgy. Pudgy. <laughs> pudgy. You had to send me back to last Tuesday. Why? Because if I don't, then I'll have to fix something. Because mm -hmm. I have to fix something, something I did. I have to. <laughs> it's about that letter of Tulu Blackhead. Yes, I've already framed it. But the letter's a flake. <laughs> you know, you're right. That big guy who sneezed. I've seen him somewhere before, haven't you? No. Oh. Well, I think it's time we met some of the folks who made all these bungles, blunders, and bloopers possible. Good idea. First, let's meet the star of Putnam's Prairie Emporium. Please give a warm welcome to Caldecott Sea Cat. Caldecott Sea Cat? Wait a minute. You weren't supposed to say Caldecott Sea Cat. Well, that's what the cue card says. Huh? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. It looks like somebody crossed out the name that was there and wrote his in with black crayon. It looks like your writing, Ed. Mine? <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. It looks like I'm going to have to do the introduction over again. Ah, nuts. I want my ten bucks back. Not now. <laughs> so please give a warm welcome to the real star of Putnam's Prairie Emporium, Benjamin the Beefalo Head. What? Welcome to Bungles, Blunders, and Bloopers, Benjamin. Thank you, Dick. It's nice to be here. The money's in your dressing room. Uh, right. Anyway, Benjamin, we'd like to talk to hey. you. He's not the star of the show. His name's not even in the title. And yours is? Oh, come on, guys. What's in a name anyway, right? Uh, uh... Dick. No, that isn't it. Yes, it is. Dick Carp, remember? Oh, yeah. Jeez, Ed. You'd think after all these years you'd at least be able to remember my name. I bet you guys don't have that problem on this show, do you, fellas? Are you kidding? No way. Well... Sometimes... <laughs> well, how was your friend, I Ivan? Oh, <laughs> Ivan, I V A N. Hey, you guys, you should come upstairs. Grandma Putnam's. I should have told you about Mildred from the start. Uh, how's Mrs. Benjamin? A little shaken. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. O? Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> well, fellas, was that a movie or was that a movie? That was a movie, all right. Now, what did you think, Benjamin? Uh, I thought it was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> How is it coming, uh, Ivan? Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's easy to make the mistake we did. So let's rectify that right now. Here he is, the real star of Putnam's Prairie Emporium, Mr. Putnam. Uh, thank you, Ed. Dick. Though I'd like to think we're all stars here, and that includes our friends out there, too, no matter whether they're on TV or not. Oh, that's a real nice sentiment, Mr. Putnam. What the heck's he talking about? I was just going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it looks like you're all one big happy family here at the Prairie Emporium. Right you are, Dick. Even when things aren't going so well, like during the taping of a show? Oh, especially then. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Your line, Mr. It now. is not, it's yours. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, thank it you, thank you very much. You got the wrong thing. Here's the script, butthead. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean, Mr. Putnam. One big happy family. <laughs> uh, yes, well, I guess even the closest families have their problems sometimes. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Oh, that's all right, Caldecott. I thought we burned that one. 
<laughs> well, once everyone knows what to say, when to say it, how to say it, and who to say it to, everything else should go smoothly, right, Ed? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Especially if the actors are asked to do something difficult, like walking, for example. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that one. <laughs> Dreams can be very confusing, can't they? What an accent. You know, I've enjoyed my dream very much. Actually, I diverted the neutron generator control through the fantibulator switch. Wow! Neat! <laughs> uh, Good. You guys okay? Well, Louis ducked down and I sort of fell on him. I think we need a medic down, down here. <laughs> Ed, what are you doing? Nothing! Nothing! <laughs> anyway, coming up on our next segment... Hey! Who's been into these candies? I don't know. Not me. Sorry about this. It doesn't matter to me. It's just they've been sprayed with insect repellent. That's all. Oh! <laughs> That'll teach you to eat the props. Oh, which reminds me, that's the subject of our next segment of Bungles, Blunders, and Bloopers. <laughs> right, Ed? <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Oh. I'll help you introduce the next segment. Oh, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Katie Gallagher. Thank you. I think it's important that they know it's not always our fault. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> Sometimes, even if we get the lines right, especially if we get the lines right, something usually goes wrong with one of the props. Yeah. Like the time the packages fell off the counter right in the middle of one of my scenes, and the stunt dummy's wig fell into the shot, and sometimes the doors won't close properly, and the gunpowder never goes off when it's supposed to. Yeah, <laughs> so while it sounds like the Prairie Emporium has had its share of problems in the prop department, all right, let's have a look. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying to get the label off this corn syrup tin. If I send it into Foster Hewitt, I can get a picture of Big Train Conacher. Pardon? Uh-oh. I think it just happened again. Katie, could you tell me what I'm doing with this? You said you were trying to get the weapon? Oh, brother, and I'm missing Stampede Wrestling for this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and we know that superstitions have no basis in fact. Just as we know, chain letters don't cause explosions, and Friday the 13th is no different than any other day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What happened to your head? Not much this time. <laughs> Could be Ivan, maybe Katie. Uh, and it's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, I see what you mean. Thank you for being on the show, Katie. Miss Katie Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't forget to tell them about the crew. Oh, yes, I was just about to. 